Saturday, June 29th. I am getting off to a late start today, so you get to see me in all my early morning glory. Um, today is a shot day. I weighed in this morning at 253.8. That is a 0.6 increase from my last shot day. Um, I'm not too worried about the increase. Today I am going to 5 milligrams up from the 3.5. So I will be at 5 milligrams every 4 days. I will take a picture on the, the Half-Life uh, peptide plotter and show you where those numbers will be. I, I looked at it the other day and I think it's like on shot days I'll have close to 11 milligrams. And then I think on the end of the third evening it's like 8 point something milligrams. So we'll see how that goes. I'll do that. Um, I did the three and a half for three shots. Um, and that was every four days, I think. So now I'm up to five shots every four days. Hopefully I will just stay at the five shots, mm, five milligrams every four days. Still having the heart palpitations. I did not take any uh, L-carnitine last night or this morning. I haven't taken anything this morning, actually. Um, somebody suggested that maybe it was the L-carnitine causing the palpitations. And it's weird because it's supposed to be heart protective. Um, all the studies say that it actually decreases arrhythmias and cardiac events. There was one thing that I found that suggested that L-carnitine can actually contribute to palpitations. So at this stage, you know, we're just trying anything, right? Um, I have not taken uh, calcium or potassium or magnesium this morning. I might just start taking that in the evenings. So my husband was saying that he read somewhere that an abundance of magnesium can cause palpitations as well. I don't think I'm at a place, I just had one, um, where that would be an issue for me, but I really don't know. So just, you know, trying what I can. I uh, had another comment suggesting that perimenopause could be the issue because for her, it really caused uh, palpitations. And then when she got on a low dose of hormones, it went away. My um, gynecologist said that my hormone levels are perfect. They're where that she would want to see them. So I don't know that she will be agreeable. I mean, it's something for me to try. I, I probably could contact her and say, hey, I just I want to try a low dose just to see if it has anything to do, you know. Um, I was thinking that maybe it was hormonal in the sense of when, you know, getting close to my periods, but I've had them for enough weeks now that I don't believe, I don't really believe that it's like, you know, the week leading up to my period is my hormones are crazy because it's been multiple weeks now in a row that I've had these, uh, these palpitations. So I watched a movie called Rapture Palooza. It was from, I don't know, like 20, 20, 12, 2014. It's been a while since it's been out. Anna Kendrick is in it. Um, based on the trailers, I thought it was going to be a lot funnier than it actually ended up being. Um, it turned out to be pretty stupid. Uh, you do not need to watch it. You're not really missing anything. There was a couple moments that I laughed at, but it... It was a fairly forgettable film, which is unfortunate. There is a fair number of well-known actors in it. Just had another palpitation. Um, I also watched something called Trigger Warning. It has Jessica Alba. It's a Netflix movie. That one is actually fairly entertaining. It was a basic action film, so it's not going to be an award winner. But uh, I hadn't seen her in anything recently, and I thought she did a pretty good job. Um, she's a superhero style. I mean, she's not a superhero. She's just an action um, star in this one, but the storyline is pretty good. Her dad died. Um, she ends up coming back for the funeral and it's purported to be a suicide. Turns out it's not. And then she digs deep and kicks ass. So, but that one, that one is a pretty good action film if you're looking for something um, just to kind of kick back and watch. 
I am making sourdough this morning. I'm trying. I added uh, raisins and cinnamon to one of them. I should have sprinkled a little bit of sugar in there too, but we'll see how it turns out. The last time I tried adding inclusions to a loaf, I had like just really huge bubbles around the things that I was adding into it. So I'm wondering if today's is going to be any better. I also have just a regular loaf because I made a double sized batch. So, and then I split it. And then I've got just a regular sourdough loaf that I can cook after. I need to make some more sourdough crackers. Those things are so good, guys. It's like a cup of sourdough, like old sourdough starter. Um, you know, the stuff that you pour off while you're feeding your sourdough. A uh, cup of flour, uh, half a stick of butter, like a half cup of butter. Um, like a teaspoon of salt or a half teaspoon of salt and then whatever you want to add to it. So I usually do the everything bagel seasonings. So good. The hardest part about it is the rolling out of the dough because you have to get it pretty thin and then, you know, you just bake it, but they're really good. And I feel like they're fairly good for you and I don't mind the kids eating them an abundance of them right now. They're just all about the Doritos, especially my youngest, I should say. So if I can kind of, you know, nudge them into eating something that I feel is a little more healthy, I'm going to do it. I still have my cold, super nasally, don't love it. I've been taking, I've upped my um, iodine in my water to 10 drops. Theoretically, I think it's like 20 to 25 milligrams and I do it in 32 ounces of water. So I am definitely um, still working on that because I, I mean, it probably could hurt at a certain point, but for now, I think it's only beneficial. Alrighty. So I guess I will see you guys on the next shot day. Um, we'll, we'll see if my palpitations increase with the increase of the trisepatide. Hopefully not, but who knows, right? All right. I'll see you guys later. Bye.